International organizations, government ministries and local entities came together to address the issue of human trafficking in Trinidad and Tobago. This was done under the Joint Access Support and Coordination or ASC program, which began in 2021 through the International Organization for Migration. According to the IOM, over the three-year span of the program, more than 100 human trafficking victims were able to access a range of support services, including mental health and psychosocial support, such as counseling, which was done on a continuous basis. Apart from that, the ASD program also provided vocational skills workshops, which were done based on feedback from the victims in a bid to equip them to sustain themselves in the future, as well as English language tutoring. Sexual and reproductive health care was another service which several survivors were able to access. The IOM states that among other accomplishments of the program was the full refurbishment of two shelters which act as essential safe spaces for survivors. Capacity building in the areas of child protection, gender-based violence and psychosocial support was also a focus executed through the training of over 800 public and private sector participants. At the closing ceremony of the ACS program on September 20th, officer in charge of IOM and TNT, Desiree Jordan Whiskey, spoke to the approach needed to address the problem. Programs like this one underscore the multifaceted nature of the support required for victims of gender-based violence and human trafficking, and the importance of developing holistic approaches to address this issue. Funding for the ACS program was provided by the Migration Multipartner Trust Fund and implemented by the IOM, UNICEF and the United Nations Population or UNFPA. UN Resident Coordinator Joanna Kazana said the legal framework to deal with human trafficking is in place. However, there is a but. The effectiveness of anti-trafficking legislation depends on its consistent implementation and consistent law enforcement. We jointly are enhancing institutional arrangements for counter-trafficking efforts, particularly through the development of key policies, such as migration policy, anti-smuggling policy, and labor migration policies. She also signaled the UN's aim to have procedures standardized. Colleagues in IOM and other agencies are working together to implement comprehensive standard operating procedures to guide the treatment of survivors of trafficking ensuring that there is a uniform approach across the different sectors of law enforcement, social services, health, and community-based. TV6 News has been informed that a digital case management system will be launched in the not-too-distant future by the counter-trafficking unit of the TTPS through the program. The IOM tells us that a majority of human trafficking victims in the country are from Venezuela, but over the years they have engaged victims from other Spanish-speaking countries, including Cuba, the Dominican Republic, and Colombia. Alicia Boucher, TV6 News.